Have you ever felt like, no matter how hard you try, your aim just isn't cutting it in Valorant? Well, you're not alone. Many players, perhaps including you, find themselves stuck in a loop, where aim seems like an unsolvable puzzle. <laughs> it's frustrating, right? But what if I told you that fixing your aim might not be as complicated as it seems? In fact, with a few simple adjustments to how you play, you could see a dramatic improvement. This isn't just any guide, this is a deep dive into transforming your gameplay by refining your aim. So, let's break down the top reasons your aim feels off, and more importantly, how to fix them. Understanding and anticipating engagements are what set professional players apart in Valorant. It's not just about reacting to what you see or hear, but preparing mentally and physically for every potential fight. The pros have an almost sixth sense for predicting enemy movements, often based on auditory cues alone. The sound of an opponent sprinting around a corner doesn't just signal an incoming enemy for a pro. It's an opportunity to pre-fire and secure a kill before the opponent even has a chance to react. This level of anticipation requires not only an intimate knowledge of the game's audio cues, but also the ability to quickly translate that info into precise actions. This is one of the main reasons you shouldn't play deathmatch without audio, like many people recommend, because sound is an incredibly vital part of aiming. When faced with the sound of multiple enemies, a pro player knows that taking on a group alone is a recipe for disaster. Instead of engaging directly, they'll use their abilities like Molotovs to stall the enemy push, buying time for their team to rotate and support. This strategic disengagement is a crucial aspect of playing smarter, not harder. It's about picking the battles that make sense, not just the ones you stumble into. Moreover, the physical setup and posture of a player can significantly impact their performance. Watching a pro player stream, you'll notice they often lean into their monitor. This isn't just a quirk, it's a deliberate choice and it gives them a competitive edge. By being physically closer to the screen, they reduce the visual travel time for their eyes across the monitor, allowing for faster reactions and more precise aim. This level of engagement with the game environment makes a substantial difference. If your monitor happens to be too far away or you're sitting back in a relaxed posture, you're not just comfortable you're compromising your ability to perform at your very best. In essence, professional Valorant play is as much about the mental and physical preparation for fights as it is about the execution. The pros prepare for engagements by anticipating enemy actions, choosing their battles wisely, and optimizing their physical setup for maximum efficiency. By adopting these practices, you can elevate your gameplay, making smarter decisions and reacting with the speed and the precision of a pro player. Keep in mind, if you're looking to climb, by far the most important thing you need to master are the fundamentals. This goes far beyond things like crosshair placement and counter strafing too. It also includes things you probably don't even realize that you're doing wrong, like peeking, spacing with teammates, or even just where you choose to stand. The players who are consistently able to drop 30 in their matches are masters of all of these things. And you could be too now with our Aim God Masterclass. It is expertly designed to teach you all the fundamentals you need to know in just one course. Our goal is to have this course teach you everything you need to know, which is exactly why we're constantly updating it as users submit feedback. The game is always developing and that's why our website is as well. With new courses posted every single month, you can be sure you're always ahead of the curve when it comes to your mechanics. And on top of that, we also offer a rank improvement guarantee. So if you don't climb while using our service, you don't pay. We know it sounds insane, but our number one priority is to be a standing name in the community for years to come. And the only way to do that is to create the best product that we can. Check it out using the link below. Positioning in Valorant can be likened to mastering an opening in chess. Just as a chess player might spend a lifetime perfecting a single opening, applying various nuances and strategies within that framework, Valorant players should approach their positioning with similar dedication and depth. This approach emphasizes the power of specialization over a broad but shallow skill set. Imagine, each map in Valorant is a chessboard, where each position or site you choose to defend or attack is your opening move. Just like in chess, where mastering one opening can lead to a deep understanding of its potential variations and responses, mastering one location in Valorant allows you to fully comprehend its dynamics, its angles, and how to control engagements within it. By narrowing your focus, you delve deeper into the strategic possibilities of that area, learning dozens of ways to outmaneuver and outplay your opponents from the same starting point. Bruce Lee famously said, I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. 
applying this philosophy to Valorant. If your playbook is too diverse, attempting to master every possible position and angle, you spread yourself too thin, becoming mediocre in many, instead of exceptional in one. In contrast, by focusing on mastering one site or location, you not only enhance your understanding of its intricacies, but also your ability to predict and react to enemy movements within that space. This focused approach enables you to create and adapt various strategies within your chosen domain, much like a chess player who can deploy different variations of their preferred opening based on their opponent's moves. You become so attuned to the nuances of that location that you can effortlessly control engagements, making it difficult for your opponents to predict your actions despite knowing your preferred position. Simplicity, especially in the beginning, is key. Dive into professional gameplay videos, observe how the pros handle your chosen site, and mimic their movements and their decision making. Now, the goal here isn't to reinvent the wheel every round, but apply strategies that have been time-tested and proven effective. This method not only streamlines your learning curve, but ensures your foundation is solid, built on practices that consistently lead to success. By keeping it simple and focusing on proven tactics, you set the stage for long-term improvement and mastery in Valorant. Crosshair placement in Valorant is a fundamental skill, and it elevates your gameplay. Yet, it's crucial to understand its role in the broader context of developing your aim. While maintaining ideal crosshair placement can significantly reduce the need for large, reactive flicks, it's not a standalone solution to achieving pinpoint accuracy. The truth is, there's no shortcut to mastering aim. It requires consistent, dedicated practice. If you're not engaging in things like deathmatch or using aim trainers like Aim Lab regularly, any of the tips we discussed here are a waste of time. These training methods are indispensable for honing your raw aiming skills, building your fundamentals, and refining your reaction times. All that said, crosshair placement isn't just about aiming less, it's about aiming smarter. By ensuring your crosshair is always positioned where an enemy is most likely to appear, you're essentially pre-aiming potential threats, drastically reducing the distance your crosshair needs to travel to hit a target. This proactive approach to aiming means you're always a step ahead, ready to engage with minimal adjustment. In high-level play, effective crosshair placement signifies you're constantly prepared for any engagement, ideally positioned to make minor, precise corrections rather than relying on wide reactive flicks. However, it's essential to remember crosshair placement is just a tool. No matter how optimized your crosshair placement is, there will always be movements where you need to rely on your raw aiming ability to secure the kill. The appeal of first-person shooters, it's always going to be the mechanical skill involved. Every player needs to master crosshair placement regardless, but that's just a base level requirement to compete. Good crosshair placement will not carry you to the top, unfortunately. You will always need to learn to aim as well to complement it. Discipline with your shots is a critical aspect of Valorant that often gets overlooked, especially among players who default to crouch spraying in every gunfight. This habit can significantly undermine your control and effectiveness in engagements. The key issue. It's not that crouch spraying is inherently wrong. There are scenarios where it's an appropriate tactic. However, the crux of the problem lies in the lack of conscious decision making. If you're automatically dropping into a crouch and holding down the trigger without assessing the situation, you're not in full control of your actions, which is detrimental to your gameplay. In lower elo brackets, this lack of discipline is even more punishing. Players at these levels generally have slower reaction times and less precise aim which means you inherently have more time to align your shots and make deliberate decisions. Now, by opting to crouch spray reflexively, you're not only making yourself an easier target, you're also squandering the additional time you have to aim. When you're crouching, your mobility is reduced and your hitbox becomes more predictable, effectively handing your opponent a simpler shot. Moreover, beyond a distance of 15 meters, relying on spraying as your go-to strategy becomes super unreliable. Valorant incorporates a degree of randomness, or RNG, in bullet spread, particularly noticeable when spraying at long ranges. And this unpredictability can make spraying an ineffective tactic, where precision and control should be prioritized. To improve your discipline with shots, it's essential to adopt a more mindful approach to engagements. Before defaulting to crouch spraying, evaluate, is it the most effective response to the situation? Try considering factors like your distance from the target, the weapon you're using, and your current position relative to cover. In many cases, you might find that tap firing or burst shooting offers a more reliable means of landing shots, especially at medium to long range. 
Practicing discipline also involves developing a keen sense of when to crouch. Crouching should not be an automatic response, but a calculated decision based on the dynamics of the fight. For example, crouching can be beneficial in a close-range duel where reducing your hitbox size could give you the edge. However, at longer distances or when facing multiple opponents, maintaining mobility and standing might afford you a better chance of survival and success. Ultimately, gaining control over your shooting habits requires awareness, practice, and a willingness to adapt your approach based on the context of each engagement. By moving away from the reflexive crouch spray and towards a more thoughtful, situationally aware style of play, you will become a more formidable and unpredictable opponent on the Valorant battlefield. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little bit more about Skill Capped. So we offer a 5 division rank up guarantee, and we think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's kind of like getting a gym membership that guarantees you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered you that, but not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium Valorant guides on the entire internet. We add new courses every month with over a thousand guides curated into over 50 courses, so no one can compare. We also have a direct line of communication with subscribers in our Discord, so you can get connected immediately to some of the best players in the game, who will respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $6.99 a month if you're serious about improving. So that's going to be all for this one today, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.